Welcome back to Joy Bike. I'm Mike. Today is day 10 of Joyride January. We have ridden every single day this month and it has been an absolute blast so far. I'm about to hop on my vintage mountain bike, cruise around my neighborhood, see what we can find, and we're gonna try and make today as rad as it can be. Let's go. <laughs> this is my 1987 all original Raleigh Grand Teton. I just picked this thing up a few weeks ago. I could not be any more stoked on this thing. It's traction yellow, which is what initially attracted me to it, but the graphics are so clean and it's an overall just beautiful bike. Yeah. <laughs> Over the past few years, I've felt more and more drawn to the vintage mountain bikes. And there's a good reason for that. I feel like these bikes were so much more raw, so much more pure. The guys that were riding them were so badass. And there's just a really cool aspect that is very anti-authority and just rebellious about these bikes. The thing that pushed me over the edge to finally pick one up is my good buddy Ricky has a 1984 specialized rock hopper that is in mint condition. The cool thing about bikes just like this one is they're all over the place, whether it be Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, your local bike shop, or even a thrift store. We just found one for my wife at a local thrift store, super clean bike, and it was only 50 bucks. And these things are so perfect for just ripping around town, cruising over to the brewery, or cruising around on some local rogue single track like I'm doing right now. So you're probably saying to yourself right now, I have a ton of bikes, do I need another one? The answer is yes, because these things are absolutely freaking rad. I believe it's also worth saying, whether it's cold out like this or you had a long day at work, no matter what, as long as you just get out on the bike and make it happen, it always makes it an amazing day and it's always worth it when you get out and pedal, even if it's just around the neighborhood. This is a whole lot of fun. That was definitely the coldest ride of 2024. That was a whole lot of fun cruising that thing around on some local rogue single track. I'm glad you guys came along with me. If you're enjoying these videos, go down and hit the like button. If you have a vintage rig, go down to the comment section and let me know what kind of rig you have. Or if you're looking for one, let me know what you're on the hunt for. And if you're not already, subscribe to the channel and make sure you ring that notification bell. We'll see you on the next episode. Stay rad and take care. Cheers.